Hello again, it's Lock Noob. Um, today I'd like to show picking this branded CESA uh, five pin oval profile Euro cylinder. Um, you see, it's uh, you can see the five pins there, you can't really access them unless you punch them out. Um, then it has some other security features, it has a, a anti-drill pin there at the front. Um, other things, I know this has three spools in, I've picked it before and um, it's got really nice deep spools in it feels, you can really feel them. Um, it's got great feedback in this lock and therefore I'm really recommending if you're a noob like me and you want to practice some spool pins, this one in particular, and of course results may vary, but really like this one. Um, a lot of the second hand locks I bought feel dead this, probably because it's new, feels a lot more, uh, for the want of a better word, alive, um, and I'm able to pick it better. Um, how am I going to pick it? Well, I've found, uh, I've, despite having these amazing Southall Max picks, which I do love, by the way, um, I'm, I'm really liking this Sparrows Eurohook, which I, I initially didn't give it particularly high praise, but um, it's really nice to be able to get around the warding of this Yale-type um, lock profile here and uh, you can see that when I put this in it can wiggle around that warding really nicely um, you can't pick through the warding this this is a solid ledge um, here all the way to the back of the lock uh, so you've got to have something which can go into in around um, the warding like this so rotating the pick around um, and sometimes even because it's quite a, a low profile in terms of the height but from the point to the top of the shaft, I can sometimes just go straight down the middle without disturbing too many pins. Um, so this is really nice. Uh, I have found that some of these uh, spools need to be set quite deeply into the lock and sometimes because of the shallow angle, you're pressing down somewhere at the back, you can overset the pins in front. So I am also going to be using a Southall Max um, pick to try and uh, hit some of the pins at the back of the lock um, where I don't want to overset the pin in front. Um, I, I don't really like using these steep angle hooks, um, they don't feel very nice to me but I, you know, you've got to appreciate that they have their, their use in your kit so it's important to have one. Um, and yeah, like I said, the, the lock's new, it, it moves um, really smoothly, um, I really like it um, and for like, I think it's about £7. In, in price and it's a lot of lot for the money I tell you uh, like I said um, you know nice nicely tight keyway um, it's only got five pins but three of them are spools from what I can feel anyway um, I, I don't have any kit to be able to open it up and gut it and I've got no desire to either frankly um, but you know if you get one um, please post a video uh, I'm going to attention is the best the most important part as we all know and I'm going to be using one of my uh, new Mad Bob one millimeter tension wrenches, uh, one of these pry bar style. Uh, I'm using the curve one for no reason other than the end of this particular pry bar fits perfectly into um, the core of the lock, allowing me to have perfect control over the rotation of the core when I hit those spool pins. I need to vary that, uh, that tension. Okay, um, I'll see you in a second. Next time um, you see my hands, hopefully they'll be in front of uh, this lock in a vise. Okay. Going from the back. Um, let's have a look. Pin, mm, pin one actually. Pin one set. Uh, pin two. Pin two set. So it's pin one. Pin two, we're not getting any um, counter rotation on either of those. Pin three, nothing. Pin four, aha. Uh -huh. Pin four seems to have given a bit of a, um, rotate that a bit more, bit of a false set there. So pin four, um, let's go along. Pin five, hmm, pin five, I think, wants to do something. Okay, pin five was felt like a spool. Pin two, 
in two is alive now I'm getting really heavy counter rotation now I don't think pin one is a spool so I think if pin two is giving me that advanced counter rotation I've got to be very careful to overset that so let's get some very good pin placement this is quite a shallow hook and try to go at a steep angle so, uh, yeah definitely this pin here good pin placement very hard to do with a sharp one like this but a sharp hook I might need to go in with a um, um, a deeper hook, my um, South Lord Max a medium hook is a deeper hook so you can get onto that pin nicely ah, there we go, um, is that an open? or is it just a very very deep full set? it's an open, there we go, look at that, beautiful okay so, um, looks like the binding order was somewhere around a pin 1, pin 2, uh, pin 3, and then a little bit of uh, fettling at the back of that lock, and uh, we got him open. A couple of spools in there, for sure. Um, I lost a lot counter rotation on 2, and I had to obviously swap from um, using the Sparrows Euro hook like that, um, which is very pointy. Really, I'll get good feedback from it, but uh, it's very hard to get good pin placement. Um, I, I don't get as good feedback from this, I think it's a, the angle um, of the South Old Max medium hook, but I put quite a lot of force on this because it's made of that uh, excellent quality uh, steel and uh, because it's at a at a steeper angle um, I can push down on, on a pin without disturbing the pin in front of it, so it uh, gives me a bit, bit better reach. Um, all of course aided by the uh, Mad Bob 1mm tension wrench. When I'm getting that heavy counter rotation, I can um, push the pin down and moderate the turning of the core appropriately. Okay, um, that's the fastest I've ever picked this lock. I have to say, uh, it it tends to um, take a bit longer. Maybe I'm just more used to the the binding order of the pins. Um, so. There we go, and I'll just close it up. Hear those pins click, click back in. There we go, and yes, it's a it's a really nice lock. This it, it operates really really smoothly. Um, yeah, so like like I said, I think before, if you can get hold of one of these CESA, um oval Euro cylinders, then uh, get one. Um, this is quite cheap, it's about £7 from Amazon. I find it a really, really, really nice training lot because the feedback from this is just excellent. You can really feel what all the pins are doing in it and um, it's not very expensive. It, it feels like it's made really well considering the price and um, you know, it's, it's a recognisable brand so that always fills you a bit of confidence as well. So anyway, thank you. I'll um, see you next time for another video.